Hello, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to thicken your dye water or just to thicken water in general. I have one video that's up that has three different ingredients to it. Uh, that one I use for dye painting, but I've been using it for just about all of my thickened dye needs. But recently I found some of this sodium alginate on Amazon, and I will put a link to this down in the description box. But this here is a, a really fine powder that dissolves up much quicker and easier than the other stuff does. So I wanted to come on and show you guys how uh, I use this here for either making just thick water or for making thick dye. And this here would be for just in general for your regular tie-dye. If you're doing the dye painting, I still recommend that you use the other uh, thickened dye video because it has the sodium alginate, it has the urea, and it has the salt in it. And from what I know about the dye painting, the, those things are needed to keep the t-shirt the wet longer and to help push the dye into the t-shirt. But if you're just using it for regular tie-dye, you need it to hold off, you know, you want to keep something white, so you need thick water, then this method should work pretty good for you. So what I'm going to start with, I tried a couple times different ways of mixing this up. I tried just putting it in water and stirring it, and it still left clumps. I tried putting it in a bottle and shaking it, that still left clumps. So I went ahead and still blend, you still have to blend it but it blends up much quicker and faster. So I just use just warm water. Uh, I use cold water and that seemed like it, after a while it's, it blended the chunks up, but the warm water seemed to do it much quicker. So anyways, so this here is just kind of a real fine powder in there. And what I have here is eight ounces of warm water and I'm going to put in one teaspoon. So this here is a half teaspoon spoon here. So I'm going to put in two of these, making one full teaspoon. And then we'll blend that up. So, and this here is just plain water that I'm mixing it into. The only thing about it is that it's warm. So, and then I have my dye mixer here, or blender. So about a minute, and that blends up pretty nicely there. So one way you can kind of test it is stick your finger in there and just rub it, rub it between your fingers. If it feels slippery, then you got it mixed. If you feel chunks, then you still need to blend it a little bit more. But this here feels good. So we'll go ahead and pour this into a bottle. I'll show you how I kind of test it for thickness, the, the thickness that I like. So one teaspoon to one cup is kind of a general. You might need to adjust a little bit up or a little bit down. But I'm going to pour some into a bottle. This is one of the little fine tip bottles that I got from Dharma. I'll put a link to that plus the, the bigger bottles that have the little fine tips on them. Those are really nice for using this thick water. So what I do then when I have the thick water is I test it on a piece of paper towel just by kind of making a strip on there and seeing how much it spreads. So you can see that that stayed pretty much right where I put it at uh, compared to this here is just some regular dye that I have here. So when I put that on, you can see how much that spreads compared to the thick water. So the thick water is just going to help kind of hold space. If you're trying to keep something white, you can coat it with the thick water and that will hold space and not allow the, the dye to creep in or at least help prevent the dye from creeping in there. Um, the other thing, if you want actual thick dye, you can use this water then and go ahead and just mix your dye right from that or if you have already mixed dye. So I have this here. This isn't warm but it is room temperature and I did discover that that works good too. So let's get another cup out here. So I have I'm going to make up uh, about four ounces of my thick black dye. So I'm just taking already mixed dye and then I'm going to add, since it's just four ounces, I'm going to add one half teaspoon. So just one of these scoops here. So 
So you can do your thick die either way. This here is just a, an easy way if you already have the die mixed up. Let's pour some of this into a bottle. Well, I might add just a little bit more. So hold on a second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add another half a scoop in here. Like I say, this here is just some basic proportions that I played with, with the eight ounces, but I thought the four ounces, you'd just half it, but it might not be. So we're gonna blend this a little bit more with the extra scoop in there, or half a scoop. So this here is three quarters of a teaspoon in four ounces of room temperature dye. Okay, so that's pretty good also. So you can see the water down there and then the other dye. And what you can't see on here is all the extra liquid that has squeezed out of this here. So that this path is actually this wide on here. So this here really just helps keep your dye where you put it but it also doesn't soak in as far. So that's where I use the cuticle pusher. So I found this here just in the nail department, uh, fingernail department that is, where you buy fingernail clippers or fingernail polish, and it has this nice edge. One side of it's got a nice rounded edge on there. And when I put this dye onto t-shirts, then I use this cuticle pusher to push it in further. And that's just because this dye is not going to spread as far. So if you want your nice thin outline, you're going to have to push it in with a cuticle pusher. So anyways, that's my video on how to make thick water and thick black dye. This is the updated version for just doing just tie dye. If you're doing dye painting, I still recommend you use the first one, and I'll have links to that one in this video uh, description, as well as where I bought the thickened dye, and I'll put a link to these little bottles and to these four ounce bottles here. See, so that's that's a nice size bottle there, and it has a nice fine tip on it. So thank you for watching. Please like and share my videos where they're allowed. Have a nice day.